So today I wanted to talk you through one of our main targets uh, for the upcoming drilling program at Reynolds Range. Where we are today here is the Scimitar Copper, Silver and Gold target. So Mauricio, at the moment we're directly above the main EM target at Scimitar. The whole EM anomaly is about 1.7 kilometres long in this area. So if it is caused by copper, silver and gold, that's a, a decent sized mineralized system. So where we are in this location right here is right on one of the proposed drill sites to test the main part of a very large EM anomaly that we have. So we've come out here today to see what the access for the drill rig is like. And luckily it's really good because Prodigy were going to drill this about four, four or five years ago. And they did drill a hole about 1.2 kilometers further over towards the east on a small EM target right on the very edge. Uh, and then they were going to come over in, here and drill this. But unfortunately for them, a big rainstorm came in and they decided to get the drill rig out. So we are, we are very fortunate that you know, a lot of the uh, background work and hard work has been done to build the target up. But due to you know, unfortunate circumstances for the other companies, they, they couldn't get to complete the, um, the testing of the main target. But that leaves it right open for IT. So I reckon this is a good spot um, to see if you can find some of those Gossner ion, ion samples, it might give us an idea of what style of mineralisation is underneath if we can find mineralisation at surface. To the geology, the conductivity measurement here is about 2,600 SI units, and that's about six times larger um, than where Prodigy first drill tested it further down to the south. They tested a, a target that was about 500 SI units and got um, quite elevated silver, um, copper and gold results down there. Um, but really didn't get close to the main part of the target. Mauricio, this has got some of that iron rich material we've been looking for. I'm gonna grab that bit and have a look. And that seems to be, you know, from what we've been zapping it with the XRF, that seems to be carrying quite a bit of silver and also arsenic. What we're basing the fact that this might be a big copper, silver and um, gold mineralized body on is that we're seeing rock chips around here um, of very elevated, uh, copper, I mean in particular silver and arsenic, uh, that remains in the rock chips even when it's weathered. So the rock chips here are quite weathered. We've gone to the hills surrounding this EM anomaly where it's a lot less weathered and we've been able to take rock chips where we've got up to 18% copper, uh, 1,490 grams per tonne silver and over 3 grams per tonne gold. We also have a multi-element um, soil lag anomaly over the, the whole area. So we would, we would expect that if that EM anomaly is being caused by um, that multi-element mineralisation down below, we would get that leaching up to the surface and we would get the type of soil anomaly that we do. So we know that there's a lot of good mineralisation in the area you know, of good grades. So that gives us a, a really good head start on deciding to drill that EM anomaly below us because we think, you know, what's going to cause that EM response? It's most likely sulphides that are car carrying those elements. So that's what this conductivity anomaly could well be, is all these sulphides that are all connected, forming a big electrical circuit. So when we put an electric current in the ground, it charges it up and we can measure that current flowing in the ground. That forms the EM, EM anomaly. Um, and when it comes to surface and it weathers, uh, it goes into this iron-rich glossiness material. All those sulphides get oxidised or rusted and they convert to that. So it kind of makes sense, you know, that we're seeing this at surface in bits and pieces uh, and it's a serious expression of what could be down in the EM anomaly down, down deep. So once we've finished drilling here at the main part of the EM anomaly here at Scimitar, uh, there's another uh, part of the anomaly that we've modelled up that actually go, dips in a different direction, um, which is quite interesting as well. So once we've finished here, we're looking we might uh, move the drill rig a few hundred metres towards the southeast and put another diamond uh, drill hole going back in the other direction to test that part of the anomaly as well. So in the next, in the coming months, as we go to get all of our drill permitting in place, uh, we have a drill rig uh, contracted already and we got all the approvals done. Um, there'll be quite a bit of news flow coming out of Reynolds Range. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our email list and to our YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming news.